Again, the overestimate, underestimate game that people play, which is so dangerous. It's so, it's such a dangerous game to play. <laughs> so, hey, uh, what else do we have in Troll Hunter here to talk about? I know I took a sidetrack there, but I like doing that. It's so. why. Yeah, yeah, we do that all the time. That's I right. Um, so, okay, we agree we don't want a remake, but I did wonder, like, you know, if they did an American version of Troll Hunter, like, I think, yeah, the kids... It, if they casted it, the kids, you know, should have been like fresh faces, but they needed someone good for Hans. Like, who would you put like the American version of Hans? Oh, that's a really good question. So, kind of been there, done that. Could Kurt Russell do it? No. Could he pull off the the droll? Because one thing I read about this movie is the 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 director t- uh, talked about how he liked how droll the humor was, and some of it gets broad. But I, you need someone who could be droll, right? Like, exactly uh, and like also like because i mean they use big comedians that's also a thing about this movie it's like they're that like that's the, a lot of norwegian comedians are in it so but they can like kind of have that droll i was can i can i tell you i was thinking okay yeah it's here and they can't be like big and swarthy right they have to be kind of like they can't be super muscular like they got to be kind of just tired right like, who, who are you thinking i was thinking nick offerman Oh, yeah. You can see that, right? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Initially, I was like, I saw Brendan Gleeson, but then I was like, oh, maybe that would be like the, it's the American version, like the movie for you guys to watch, but it's actually British, like, actors. So you've got, like, Irishman and Brendan Gleeson playing Hans, Bill Nye playing Finn. Like, I can totally see that happening. That would oh. be amazing. Yeah, I mean, he'd be perfect, right? In this right? role. This tired, droll. Oh. He could explain the the documents, I think, really well. Kind of the yeah. TPS reports. He can do subtle, subtle comedy, like, but more that Joel vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just a fun thing I was thinking about, like. He can't wink at the camera. I think too many actors wink at the camera with it. He would have to. He he could do it. I oh, love that. Oh no! Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. But I mean, it's found footage, so that also is a bit like. Now he directed a bit differently. Oh, man. I want him in this movie now. He'd be perfect. Who else <laughs> who, who else could do it? Yeah, let's see. What that, I... That's what I got. We actually, like, I asked Corey about it, too, and we sat for a while. And um, that's the only guys I could come up with that worked. Corey was like, at first, maybe, um, uh, what's his face? Uh, Harrison Ford. But then he was immediately like, no, that wouldn't work. He's too serious. Because he is too serious. Like, yeah, you got me thinking now. Who doesn't wink at the? <laughs> All right, let's we let's. Okay, all right. He'd be good. <laughs> He'd be really good. Let's see. I'm trying to think of other people. I had a good one in my head. Is is um? That's the thing. Is, it's not really a lot because it's a big character and a very specific character. You just gotta keep a straight face. Yeah. All right. Let's keep that. I think he'd be good. <laughs> I, I <laughs> somehow thought about Sterling K. Brown. Is he? I wonder if he could do it. I could see him being really droll. Again, Sterling K. Brown. He's in um, This Is Us, and he was in Hotel uh, Artemis. Yeah, Sterling, but he's too young. Yeah, he needs Still someone. Too young. Yeah, he needs someone older. I like older. Sterling, but he's too young. Yeah, all right, let's keep it. I think we're set. Offerman running around in the Pacific Northwest, taking out Morgan, trolls. Morgan Freeman? Oh, he's Maybe about Morgan. 80 now, though, right? Would yeah, that be too old? Yeah, it's not like he really looks it. Yeah, that's true. I would love to watch. What about Mike Myers? No, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah. Sorry. Nah. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't, nah. <laughs> you know what else I forgot about in this movie? Where he's just saying that that uh, he's talking about how charcoal and rocks and concrete are irresistible to trolls. Yeah. I love his little traps out there, but then I felt so bad for the trolls getting trapped. Yeah, and the tires. That's like basically oh, they yeah. chewing gum. If you, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's chewing funny. Gum. I love it. It's like a cookie for me. Like, has has Mark been here? Was well, the cookie still there? Yeah, uh, he hasn't been. Here. <laughs> so yeah, I, oh, I love that. Just with the, uh, the the tires, and then the car got flipped, and the the tires got eaten. Ah, oh, there's yeah. so many little things in this, and I keep looking through. I have way too many notes. I always do this to myself. But I have way too many notes. Oh, no, but no, I mean, uh, um, oh, no, no. any uh, any final thoughts about this movie? 
Well, uh, maybe just like, yeah, I lost like a thing about um, the, the prime minister at the end <laughs> where they do that little cut. It's so beautiful. So like I read and apparently um, uh, Overdahl said uh, it, it's obviously actual footage of their prime minister um, uh, doing a press conference. And he was talking about a huge oil field outside of Norway that's called the Troll Field. That's like the name of the oil field. So they obviously, like, when they found the uh, the footage, they just edited the field out so that they could play with this whole, oh, guys said we have trolls. Norway have trolls. Meanwhile, it was like, Norway has a troll field. Like, but, yeah, I love that. That was also so, what a great ending. What a and, great ending, that little clip. Where... <laughs> and Finn is sitting there going, what? What just, did yeah, you just no, admit Finn to that? Finn is losing it. Finn oh. is like, oh. He's already like trying to dam figure out damage control. It's so fun. Now this movie is filled with like little nuggets, great lines, great moments, some cheese and silliness in between, but that's the fun of it. Like it never takes itself too seriously, but then at the same time, it really goes into some serious stuff. Like, I mean, uh, there was an interview um, that Gizmodo did with Overdoll. Um, we asked him like, Okay, so yeah, we've done vampires and zombies and everything to death, and like we know all the metaphors by now, like uh, zombies and consumerism, what 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 are trolls a metaphor metaphor for? And he also like said like it was what uh, let me read it. The only topic I baked into this film is related to how we treat our wildlife, how we treat our treasure treasures in a way. Um, and he talks about like uh, you know. Uh, uh, the trolls, it's, they're advanced animals in, in this movie. They have a human side to them. They are defense, defenseless. All they care about is getting food and getting shelter. And uh, they're not there to kill. They're defending themselves mostly when they smell Christian blood. And then he talks about, like, you know, like just the whole religion thing that he put into it. Because um, when the country was Christian in the 13th century, the trolls lost all their power over the population. So, like, yeah, just, like. You know, it's like I say, it's this fun, silly movie, but then it also has like these environmental issues and like how we treat things and who gets to have the power, the political satire that he puts in there. It's so good, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just watching that Jotun, so sad. The thing is such a beautiful creature. And then oh, it... man. And like you say, so old, mm -hmm. so ancient, and dying. Mm. Oh. That hurts. Oh. Now we're into this on a bummer. No, I want a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> I think Meg's making uh, these delicious pumpkin chocolate cookies tonight, so I can't wait for those. Oh, I know I'm Meg. Oh, yeah. Oh, the And you love hearing that, too. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I'm Good very job. excited. I'm very excited. But no, thank you for recommending this. And I... I, I... Oh, yeah it's good and more people should watch it absolutely Great. and it's just it's kind of this is gonna sound weird it's like a starship troopers type movie where you can watch it and just embrace the cheekiness and the trolls or you could yeah. be someone who picks up on the 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 messages of it the kind of satire of it and it's the same thing with starship troopers you either pick up on the satire and fascism or you just enjoy the bugs being murdered but yeah, it's just exactly. good on multiple levels so you can enjoy it as a short fun harmless movie or you can pick up on the the funnier elements of it so it's like uh, it's a four quadrant i think I, I dig it exactly there's something for everyone um even just people who want to watch like a good monster movie it's trolls it's also so cool because it's something different how many trolls movies do we have not a lot i want more troll movies Ernest scared stupid mark mark i want more troll movies All right. Ernest <laughs> i'll make it happen you love that i'll make it happen <laughs> Ernest Gets Deep is the most terrifying movie ever made. I'm just I'm just putting that out there. I really need to watch that again. I can't remember it. That troll I, is I, evil. Troll is evil. That was my first article for Cracked. Did you, I, did you know really? that? No. no. No, that was my second. My first article was about uh, underappreciated horror characters. But I wrote yes, about P I remember that one. I wrote about PG characters who are terrifying after 1986, not cheating and doing beforehand. So, uh... Oh, and other mother from Coraline. Jeez Louise. Oof, duh. But in this gets stupid, I wonder if, I think like, because you were telling me the other day, that movie is a classic. Um, We were talking about it and how, oh, yeah, people are kind of talking about that movie again. And I wonder if it's an American classic, though, because it's not big here. No, like, I, yeah, it, listen, it's not a and classic. We have a lot of, and we have a lot of American um entertainment. Like, you guys feed us the most. 
So, you, okay, it's interesting. It's not by no. A lot of people will hate it, but I think it it sticks with people who are my age who went to a PG rated movie expecting Ernest P. Worrell shenanigans, family friendly stuff, and they were treated with a troll who attacked children and had no pattern and hid under their beds and modified its voice to get children and in public spaces you weren't safe so there's a there's a party and the troll just breaks in and takes a kid the troll mimics other people's voices and it tricks people and it's just cruel and there's so much snot and it actually wrecked the deal that director john cherry and uh, jim jim um, varney had with disney because they made the troll too scary they fought with disney about it touchstone and Oh. I think it sticks with us because there's not many movies of just straight up kids being. So when I would watch movies with teenagers being attacked when I was 12, it didn't really scare me because these are older people. But yeah, watching like, Cruella de Vil attack puppies or watching these movies where kids yeah. were taken. That's like what scared the witches. me. It, 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 that's what scared me. And this yeah. troll had no pattern, delighted in taking children, hid under beds and was just a monster, literally. And so there's a ton of very funny gags in it, but then there's also just this troll that shook nine-year-old me to my core. And so I think I'm really led by nostalgia for it, but it's mm. it's, it's a messed up movie. It's not, and they admit well, it was I too mean, scary. So that's my pitch about it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the way it's all, it's, yeah, I'm a little creeped out right now, so <laughs> the way you talk about it. But yeah, it sounds like The Witches. Like, the witches yeah. did that to us. The witches scared the mm-hmm. living shit out of us. <laughs> and PG like, movie. Yeah, it was kids, and it was adults taking kids. That, I think that was the creepy thing about the witch, though, because it's like grown-ups, the ones you need to trust, is now no. Apparently, some of them are witches, and they want to eat you. And, and, and there's a scene in that movie. I don't know if we've talked about this, but there's a scene where this witch in the beginning comes up to this kid when he's in a tree, and I think she offers him a snake to come with her so she can murder him. And that's the scariest moment for me. Like, the Grand High Witch is scary, but the scariest part is this plain-looking lady trying to get this kid out of a tree by offering him a snake so he can go get murdered. Like that that scene shook me up, watching. I actually, I actually think we spoke about this with, uh, with the Candyman part. I actually yeah. think it was, yeah, yeah, we spoke about this. That is, I mean, because uh, that was, again, like with the a snake, really? Y- you think that's, that's going to get the kids to come, a snake? Uh, <laughs> not Ugh. a good call. <laughs> yeah, but those kind of movies are great. Like the ones that he always remembers. I get what you say with the nostalgia stuff. I just think, yeah. Well, maybe I, I, maybe there's like a huge uh, 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 following of my generation, like a following of people who loved it. It's probably niche, but yeah, I, I need to watch it. I'll watch it, Mark. And, and, and also, we could talk more about some, the trolls. <laughs> some of the main kids are taken. Like in a, a lot of these kids movies, it's always the main kids like in the Goonies are fighting off everybody until the end. But in this one, some of the main kids in this movie are immediately taken by the troll. And you're just you're like, this does not follow patterns. This does not as a nine year old kid. You're like, this is not I, I'm pro- like that was a main kid who just got turned into a wooden statue. It's just yeah. uh, oof, oof. Ah, so cool. All right, all right. Well, thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Oh, thanks so much, Mark. Um, Chalance is great. Thanks. Yeah, allow me to talk about it. Pitch your work, and I'll also do it on the post. But you've been crushing it for Cracked. Oh, yeah. No, just, yeah, like, busy with stuff there. But also, by the time this pod comes out, who knows where I will be. That's true. Um, (laughs) But, yeah, I'm still doing some stuff for uh, online stuff for Cracked.com. Um, yeah, but just check me out on Twitter and see what I've been up to since we've recorded this amazing episode about an amazing monster movie from oh. Norway. Oh, I like it. I should have just closed with that. That was strong. All right. So, uh, so for me, Mark Hoffman. Close with the ringtone. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish we had that. I don't want to edit it in. I'm too lazy. I'm going to, I'm going to close with the ringtone for us. All right. Do it. You got it? Okay. You want to you can say goodbye first. Oh, well, thank you for listening to Movies from the Flicks. I am Mark Hoffmeyer, and uh, thank you for joining me, Zanotti. This is Movies from the Flicks. We'll see you next. <laughs> <laughs>